screen iMac 27 inch with a 5K display. I long ago set it to the default resolution of 2560 by 1440. I want to get an M4 Mac Mini. Can I get the same results with a less expensive monitor with a 2050? uh 2560 by 1440 resolution i rarely edit photos and videos maybe twice a year i've been editing them with the 2560 by 1440 setting what do you think well the first thing to talk about is what that 2560 by 1440 setting means because on your 5k display is actually 5120 by 2880 and for people who do division or multiplication in their heads, you've noticed that 5120 by 2880 is double 2560 by 1440. And what's happening when you set your iMac, your 5K 27 inch iMac, and it's 5K because of that 5120, when you set that to 2560 by 1440 it is actually doing double the resolution of those pixels and that's how you get retina displays so you do not want to trust me on this you do not if you haven't trusted me so far i don't know why you're still listening but uh but on this one listen please do not you will not be happy with a display that only displays 2560 by 1440 you will want something higher resolution than that. And then you will want to set it. And Mac OS is great about this to be an effective 2560. So things are the right size, but look crisp and clear. And you're not seeing pixels because it's a higher def screen. Now, 5k screens have more pixels than 4k screens. That part's obvious. However, a good 4k display, which is 3840 by 2160 can be set to a retinized resolution of 2560 by 1440 and look great with a 27 inch screen. And I can attest to that because I have four 27 inch screens that I use in my life Two here in no three, two here in the studio and one in the office. And next to the one in the office that I use is an LG 5K display, which is effectively the same glass that you've got in that 27-inch iMac. And having the two of them right next to each other, both set to 2560 by 1440, my um, well-experienced, in terms of number of years, eyes rarely can see a clarity difference between the two screens. I definitely see a color difference between the two and all of that. Um, downstairs, I have the ViewSonic VP2768A, which is a $530 27-inch uh, screen. I will put all of these in the show notes. Right in front of me here in the studio, I have the Philips Creator Series 27 yada 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 4K display. Again, I'll just put the link in the show notes and it makes life easier for all of us. Uh, that was 700 bucks when it came out. I don't know how much it is right now uh, because it's not for sale on Amazon. I don't know if it's been discontinued or what. But um, And then if you want that LG 5K display, that's also currently still available. And that is $795, so, which is cheaper than it used to be. You can buy the refurb for $795. When I bought the refurb a couple of years ago, it was um, you know, like 1000 bucks or 1100 bucks or something. Um, however, let's all remember that at CES, Pete and I got to see the new upcoming, not yet quite out, ViewSonic VP2788 5K display that they say is going to be $799. And that's going to be truly 5K. So I would regardless. And, and then I've also used monoprice displays uh, over the years. And they monoprice is, is an interesting company. I really like what, the, what they do and the way they do it. They, especially with displays, figure out what the most important thing is, a.k.a. the glass. And then they put really good glass in with maybe 
you know, plastic stands and casing and all that stuff to save money. And you can often get a good 4K 27 inch display from Monoprice for, you know, 299 or 350 or something like that. So, I, but for you, for what you're doing and what you are used to and what all of us are used to, I would say a 4K display that then you run at that 2560 by 1440 is the right way to go. 